The installation of a redirective crash attenuator can be an intimidating task, but not with the SCI 100GM. It comes fully assembled and ready for installation. We would like to take you through the process and leave you confident that you can perform a proper installation. All work should be performed with proper traffic control according to local, state, and federal laws. The first step in installation on a concrete pad is to inspect the concrete for signs of cracking, wear, or other signs of deterioration. If the concrete meets the specifications, you will need to determine the exact location of the attenuator. This is dependent on what your transition is attaching to, the flow of traffic, or the obstruction you are protecting. Mark the concrete where the outer edge of the attenuator base should rest. Place a chalk line to snap a line on the concrete to show the outer edge of the attenuator base. You will need to safely unload the SCI 100GM. Use a lifting device that can safely lift the 3500 pound attenuator and move it into position. Lifting straps should be attached to the support frames that are clearly marked on support frames number 3 and 4. You should use a 4-point choked lifting method. Once the SCI 100GM is safely off the truck, move it into position by aligning it to the markings on the concrete. The anchor bolt holes are very important to the system's integrity. They should be drilled with the unit in place to the depth specified in the installation manual. You may encounter rebar in the concrete, which will require a core drill or similar equipment. Once all of the holes are drilled, the holes should be cleaned by a suitable means. The dust needs to be removed or the epoxy may fail. Residual dust must also be removed by using a suitable method. Once the holes are clean, inject epoxy to approximately two-thirds of the hole's depth using trial and error to end up with the hole filled to the top once the bolt is inserted. Insert an anchor bolt with a nut and washer in place. Turn the inserted bolt at least one revolution to thoroughly coat the threads with the epoxy. You will have to torque these bolts down once the epoxy reaches its proper cure strength. You will need to repeat this process for all remaining anchor bolts. If a transition is required, our transitions attach to the back of the SCI 100GM with four bolts. The other end depends on the object you are attaching to. Finally, the front panel may need to be striped according to state specifications and usage. These stripes will be easier to place on the panel if it is removed so you can use a utility knife to cut out the holes. There are four bolts on this plate for easy removal and replacement. A final inspection should be performed next. Make sure the sled is all the way forward up to the stop bolts. The cable should be taut, but not over-tightened. Next, a routine bolt inspection should be performed to make sure that none of the bolts loosened during transit. After the epoxy has cured, finish torque the anchor bolts to 125 foot-pounds. The SCI 100GM is ready to be put into service.